MLB Pipeline's top prospect Jackson Holiday is now injured and is expected to miss a couple of weeks before returning to action in AAA. If you've been following my channel, you know that I've been putting out countless videos on how Jackson Holiday has been doing in the minors since his demotion back in April. Today we'll look at how Jackson Holiday has performed in the minors up until his recent injury. Getting right into it, as of the making of this video, Jackson Holiday is 36 for 147 with 5 home runs, 12 doubles, 19 singles, 43 walks, and 47 strikeouts in his at-bats back in AAA. Let's dive into the numbers. In order of his 40 games back in AAA, here are his stats. I had been doing these game by game, but since he's played in so many games to this point, I'm now taking them in chunks of five. Games one through five, he went four for 20, which is a 200 batting average with two doubles, two singles, six walks, and one strikeout. So a little light on the hits, but his on-base percentage was up due to all those walks. Then he caught fire. Games 6 through 10, 6 for 17, which is a 353 batting average, with a home run, two doubles, three singles, six walks, and five strikeouts. The home run was his first since before his call up April 10th, so it had been a month since his last homer. Games 11 through 15 were a little bit slower again when it comes to the hits 3 for 19, which is just a 158 batting average with three singles, four walks, and six strikeouts. Game 16 through 20, 5 for 22, which is a 227 clip, with a home run, double, three singles, four walks, and seven strikeouts. Games 21 through 25, 4 for 20, again, 200 batting average, with a home run, a double, two singles, six walks, and eight strikeouts. Games 26 through 30, 7 for 16, which is a 438 batting average with a home run, two doubles, four singles, four walks, and another six strikeouts. Games 31 through 35, 4 for 15, which was a 267 batting average with two doubles, two singles, five walks, and four strikeouts. And finally, games 36 through 40, 3 for 18 with a home run, double, single, another seven walks, and another seven strikeouts. So again, overall 36 for 147, which is good for a 245 batting average. As the sample size has increased for Jackson, we're seeing him finally start to get back into his groove with some improved stats here as of late. Taking a look at his strikeout numbers, which has been something I've kept an eye on with how often he was going down on strikes in the majors, his 47 strikeouts since his demotion does equate to a 32% strikeout rate. While this is technically an improvement on the 53% figure he had in the major leagues, that number is still a little elevated for me. If he can get that more in the 20 to 25% range, that's more where we want to see it for Jackson. So, once the injuries aside, are all of these stats going to get Jackson Holiday back in the big leagues anytime soon? Probably not. I feel that he's going to need to put up some more consistent stats over a longer period of time to get that promotion. There's certainly been flashes of promise, and he's shown the ability to lay off some close pitches and draw all those walks. Of course, with the five home runs, he's hit as well. If he can get the consistency going again after he comes back from his injury, it will just be a matter of time before the Orioles' top prospect is back in the major leagues. And as I've mentioned before, while Jackson continues to get into his groove in AAA, the Orioles keep winning at the major league level, which really eliminates the need to try to rush the future superstar back up. And that's why I feel that this is always going to be a little bit more of an extended stay down in AAA. The Orioles are really going to want to get Holiday consistent every day at bats and reassess every few weeks. I wouldn't be surprised if it's another couple of months even after he gets back from his injury before we see Jackson Holiday in the big leagues again. Personally, I feel that that is the best thing for his career as well. He needs to take the pressure off of himself, get back to the basics, and the success will come. As I like to say, it's not a matter of if we will see Jackson Holiday back in the big leagues, just when.
I'll be keeping you guys updated with how Jackson Holiday is doing, when we can expect him back from his injury, and of course his performance in the minors in the weeks and months ahead. So you don't miss out on any future videos, be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on to save yourselves the trouble of going and trying to find it yourselves. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button and feel free to leave a comment as well. It helps me out a bunch. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I really appreciate you. I'll catch you all in the next one.